Hey guys, Mark Kwok here. Today we're talking about one of my favorite clothing companies and specifically it's more for outerwear. It's winter time, it's getting cold, it's getting rainy. Let's talk this bad boy right here, Barber. So as you can tell, I have three Barber jackets, so I'm a bit of a fan. This company, Barber, has been around for ages. It's like a UK company. They have a tradition and a heritage. You see all of these like sort of outdoorsy pictures and usually people have something like this on. And they're really known for their waxed cotton jackets. They're also known for things like quilted jackets. I mean, if I'm being honest here, I do also have a quilted vest here too. This is the Lower Dale, but hey, I'll talk about each one of these pieces in just a sec. But it's a heritage brand that I think a lot of people know. And this is super popular. It was popular back in the old days, but it's also gained a lot of momentum more recently as well. So let's talk the pros and cons of this jacket, whether it's worth it, because sometimes it has a pricey tag and whether you should go and get one. So I'm a jackets lover. I love jackets and coats so much. I have too many. I mean, honestly, I don't need this many, but I just love it. And right now I'm wearing uh, one of the jackets from Barber called the Toki Toe, or also known as the Department B. Alongside that, I have one of the most iconic of all barber jackets. This is called the Bedale. This one here, this navy one, is from uh, actually James Bond, No Time to Die. But it's also a collab between Engineered Garments, which is a pretty well-known clothing brand, and Barber. And they created this one called, I think it's called Covert now, but it used to be called the Graham. So what are the pros of this jacket and why do I love it? And let's, let's talk about it for a moment. I will say before any of this, this company has been around for a very long time. It is a well-established brand and it has a history of making great garments. So you don't really have to research a ton before you realize, you know what? They probably know what they're doing. It's designed well, it stands up well to the weather. So overall, they make a great garment and all of my jackets I'd say are like that. Now, the second thing is I love how it all has a specific type of look. This brand knows what it does, it knows what it's about. And so you really can't recognize it as anything other than Barber. When you think outdoors, when you think kind of, you know, the countryside, like that is what this jacket really represents. And, you know, we're not all in the UK countryside these days. Yeah, I'm wearing this in San Francisco or New York, what have you, but you get that kind of same iconic feeling and look. And if you like that, and it's a, a type of style that you appreciate, then Barber is kind of the place to go. Also, let's be real, these things are so functional. I mean, there's like random things, like there's a flap right here that kind of closes up your jacket when it gets cold near the neck. You can see buttons and zips all over the place, making sure that you're nice fastened in when it's raining and cold. I mean, there's so much functionality to these things. I would say that they put a lot of thought behind each one of those functions, like each thing has a flap. Each thing has a button. Everything has a, you know, closure. I think a lot of fashion companies might not really care about this quite as much, but these are meant to be real tools in the cold and wet weather. There are some cons with this jacket though. So, I, you know, I, I do love the brand. I clearly have multiple jackets. So overall, I recommend. But here are some of the cons. One, it's gonna be a little bit tough to know what size you should get. I mean, this thing, <laughs> the sizing is all over the place. I'll give you an example. So this jacket right here, this is an extra small jacket and it still runs a little bit big to me. And I'm a guy who wears mostly small and I sometimes wear medium even. So to wear extra small and for it to still be roomy, something wrong with that sizing. Especially when you consider that this jacket here, the Department B, I'm wearing a small right now and this thing is like tight. Like I should probably maybe go up to a medium on this. So what makes, I don't really get understand, right? extra small, medium, like it works similarly. Like that, it doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. So just be aware of that when you are purchasing this, like you may have to do a couple of returns, maybe try to find a place that has a generous return. Number two is that, you know, this is so advertised as something that's meant for kind of the harsher elements, right? Snow and, and wet rain and so on, stuff like that, right? So you imagine that this wax cotton would hold up perfectly against those elements. The truth is, it's still cotton. It's not gonna be as technical as something like Arcteryx or like a North Face where it, the water just beads off and you're completely protected. The truth is technology has come a long way, even with clothing. And so what you're getting out of this is more of like a heritage, like it works in those you know, worse elements, but don't expect it to be totally waterproof. Like this thing will be drenched at some point, especially if it's been, if the wax has kind of come off over time. 
So just keep that in mind. I mean, like, I think sometimes you'd rather stay a little classier and wear something like this as opposed to like a ski jacket. And in which case you have an option and it, it does protect you, but just know and keep your expectations straight that this is not gonna protect you from everything. A quick note on their quilted stuff too, and they have other types of clothing too. They have sweaters and scarves and pants but I generally look at them as like a jacket company first, beyond anything else. And then these vests, the quilted stuff, and they have like a jacket version of this. This is also quite well known. So I would, if you're nude barber, really check out first the wax cotton jackets. And then second, any sort of quilted gear like this. This is a vest, but then there's also quilted jackets, right? Is it worth the price? Do I recommend it? The answer is yes, I would say mostly. Not all the pieces, again, I've only shown you a couple here, but they have all held up. I think this jacket is probably like eight years old and I wear it all the time still. The same thing with the Bedale. I've had the Bedale and that Bedale and Beaufort look has been around for, I don't know, could be centuries. No, it's, it's many, many decades. And so you know that the style will remain, you know, relatively in style and in fashion. And they hold up and like, I just I just have no real complaints. I mean, I set a couple cons here, but like sizing, like once you get the right size, you're good to go. I mean, overall functional jackets, worth their price and look good, feel good. It makes you like, you know, makes you use it for many, many, many years. Overall would recommend. There it is then, the barber jacket. I have a bunch here. Again, Covert, Bedale, Department B, Lowerdale, a lot of stuff I have here, but would recommend. Get it if you can find it on sale, especially. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Mark Kwok. I'll see you guys in the next one.